U.S. nuclear fears block Intel China supercomputer update. The U.S. government has refused to let Intel help China update the world's biggest supercomputer. Intel applied for a license to export tens of thousands of chips to update the Tantu computer. The Department of Commerce refused, saying it was concerned about nuclear research being done with the machine. Separately, Intel has signed a $200 million, 136 million pounds, deal with the U.S. government to build a massive supercomputer at one of its national laboratories. The Dan 2 uses 80,000 Intel Xeon chips to generate a computational capacity of more than 33 petaflops. A petaflop is equal to about 1 quadrillion calculations per second. According to the Top 500, an organization that monitors supercomputers, the Dan 2 has been the world's most powerful machine for the past 18 months. This year the Chinese machine was due to undergo a series of upgrades to boost its number crunching abilities past 110 petaflops. The upgrades would depend largely on new Intel Xeon chips. The chipmaker informed U.S. authorities of its involvement with the upgrade program and was told to apply for an export license. In compliance in a notice published online the U.S. Department of Commerce said it refused Intel's application to export the chips for Dan 2 and three other Chinese supercomputers because the machines were being used for nuclear explosive activities. The relevant section of U.S. export regulations reveals that this covers technologies used in the design, development or fabrication of nuclear weapons. The notice added that the four institutions where the supercomputers would be located were deemed to be acting contrary to the national security or foreign policy interests of the United States. In a statement given to the IDG Newswire, the chipmaker said, Intel complied with the notification and applied for the license, which was denied. We are in compliance with the U.S. law. China is now believed to be accelerating its own homegrown chip-making efforts to boost the power of the four supercomputers and complete the upgrade program. Although Intel has been denied the chance to sell its Xeon chips to China, the company has signed a large deal to build the Aurora supercomputer at the Argonne National Laboratory in Illinois. When finished that machine